Right, DRS or drag reduction system, introduced into Formula One in 2011, made bigger and more powerful than ever in 2019, but how does it work? Uh, another special drawing of a Formula One car by me here, uh, but in the days building up to a Grand Prix, FOM will go around the racetrack, burying into the track surface, tiny little timing sensors. On every single Formula One car, there's a timing transponder sitting just above the plank around here, and as that car passes over the sensor, it picks up a signal telling the system that a car has passed the DRS detection zone. If another car then passes that same sensor in the racetrack within one second of the car in front at any point after the second lap of the Grand Prix, it will sense that a car is one second behind and send a signal to the onboard standard ECU supplied by McLaren to every single car to enable DRS on that car. It will show up in the form of a light on the dashboard or the steering wheel of that driver's car. Uh, some teams will also put it as an audible tone inside the driver's crash helmet to make it more obvious. And then the driver has to manually activate the system. He does that by pressing a button on the steering wheel which sends a signal to a little Moog valve, a hydraulic valve buried down here in the transmission section uh, and then sends hydraulic pressure up through the rear wing pylons and up to this kit at the top. A hydraulic pressure coming up through the center of the rear wing main plane, up through this aerodynamic pod to an actuator situated up here. The pressure will pull on this actuator, moving a piston which pulls on this articulated linkage connected to the upper flap and therefore moving the whole thing up. A bigger gap this year, 85 millimeters. Now you can clearly see if the airflow is rushing through here, hitting this rear wing, being turned upwards, generating huge amounts of downforce, it's also generating huge amounts of drag, slowing the car down on the straight, when we don't really need the downforce. So by opening up this DRS flap, we allow much of that airflow to pass through this bigger gap, reducing the drag, increasing the top speed of the car. Now, within the rules, it says the system has to be able to close automatically the second the driver hits the brake pedal as he approaches a corner. As he does that, the flap closes, reattaching the airflow within around half a second to the aerodynamic surfaces, bringing back all of that downforce, allowing the driver to get the car stable, under control, with huge downforce, pushing it to the surface as he goes through the corner. That is how DRS works on a Formula One car in 2019.